Welcome to our Five on Five. We're pleased to be joined by Dr. Marina Merrill, a Senior Research and Policy Advisor for Children's Institute. Dr. Merrill, good to see you. How are you today? Great, thank you. Thank you for being here. So tell us first about Children's Institute. The Children's Institute is a nonprofit organization located in Portland. And what we do is we take research and transform it into effective policies for children from birth to age eight. We're interested in closing the achievement gap through increasing investment in early learning. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah, and, and with that focus on early education, what are some of the personal findings that you've found uh, that have been, been fascinating to you and, and that you would like to see implemented into the educational system? Well, what is so fascinating is how clear and compelling the research is on the need to invest early. So we know from the research that preschool is one of the best investments that we can make. The return on investment for early learning is incredible. I mean, the, we know that from hundreds of studies, literally hundreds of studies at this point, that there are real and persistent benefits that last through a child's early education all the way through high school and beyond. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and I know in Oregon it's an interesting time right now. Everyone's trying to gear up for full day kindergarten. Uh, what, do, what do you see? Is, is the, I assume that's something you, you welcome readily. Absolutely. We are 100% behind full day kindergarten being rolled out and being funded adequately and ensuring that children are in their seats. Chronic absenteeism is a huge problem and concern in Oregon. In fact, in kindergarten, we have some of the highest rates of chronic absenteeism in the state at 24% wow. of children are chronically absent. And we know that children from particularly lower income communities and families that don't have preschool, a high quality preschool education, are those that are more likely to be chronically absent as well in kindergarten. Mm -hmm. So again, it comes back to investing early and starting really truly um, from birth, but also investing in preschool to get those children ready for kindergarten and in those seats so that our investment on full day K will pay off. Absolutely, all right, very cool. Well, we're gonna take a quick break. We'll have much more in a moment. Stay with us. Again, we're here with Dr. Marina Merrill from the Children's Institute. Dr. Merrill, first off, tell us what you're doing here in Southern Oregon. So I'm here to learn more about all of the wonderful things that are going on in early learning. I know that the Medford area has really uh, taken to early learning and understanding the benefits of that and are doing some wonderful programs. So I'll be able to see a few while I'm here. Yeah, you're taking quite the tour, I'm told. So let's, let's talk about, uh, if you were to narrowly focus on, on one specific area, that would be the most beneficial to getting kids pointed in the right direction, what would it be? Well, again, as I earlier mentioned, what we know is the research on preschool is astounding. And so the Children's Institute for this 2015 legislative session is advocating for a new preschool program to get more children served and to serve a larger swath of children in low and moderately income families. So to get more children, just getting access to early learning opportunities would be critical. Mm -hmm, yeah, and, and a lot of people are excited about full day kindergarten and all that, but the work I'm, I'm assuming doesn't begin there. What should parents who are watching at home right now, what should they do to, to get their kids educated early? Well, I know that, I mean, one of the reasons why we need a state investment is that many children, many families are just not able to pray, pay for private preschool. In many cases, private preschool costs as much as a year of college. Mm -hmm. And so that is why we need a state investment to get more children served in these high quality early learning um, environments. And so for parents that don't have access to early learning. I would say read, start early from birth, reading, accessing a lot of the wonderful public services that you do have that are free, like the public libraries here in the state are phenomenal at doing story times and helping parents be the first teacher to their children. Very good. Great to meet you. Thank you so much for Great. being here. Welcome to Southern Oregon. Thank you so much. Right. Stay with us. We'll be right back. 